everyone, Arthur Kemper, VP of Perdomo Cigars, and today I actually get to interview the man himself, Nick Perdomo. Well, thanks, Arthur. Nick, thanks for joining us. So, you know, I travel the country. I've been with Nick a little over 20 years, and I get asked a lot of questions about Nick. We see questions on our YouTube channel, and so, Nick, I want to go over a few of these questions and share with the audience. So, sure. Um, we're going to shoot with number one. Number one is, what is your favorite size cigar? Well, Arthur, i got to be honest with you. I like three different types of cigars as far as shapes. I like Epicures, which are a six-inch cigar by 50 up to 54. I'm a big Churchill fan, as you know. Seven-inch cigar from a 50 ring gauge to a 54. And I've always loved Torpedoes. I just, I just love the art form of the Torpedo, and I love smoking them. Well, coming, you know, Torpedoes, when I started with you, the Perdomo Reserve Torpedo 7x54, that was the company's number one selling cigar and it's a great cigar, really special cigar. Can you tell us a little about the Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary Torpedo? Well, that was really our baby. You know, everybody, we're known for our torpedoes and how beautiful they look. A lot of people say they look like artillery shells. I just think they're so beautiful. They smoke so well, and really, you have your best rollers rolling them. So I always had a lot of respect for that, Arthur. That's why I've always been a big torpedo lover. Yeah, and I think a Perdomo Torpedo, it's one of the most unique torpedoes. I think it is the most unique torpedo in the industry, and it's something that I've always uh, fallen in love with. So something a little more casual. What do you like to do for your hobbies? Well, i got to be honest with you. At my older age, as I get older, I've really got into going into the gym with Janine a lot. And uh, I'm getting in better shape. I'm losing weight. And I'm feeling better for it. And I really love it now. And I, I'm kind of addicted to it, to be honest with you. But I, I also I love to play the drums. Everybody knows that I'm a, I'm a big drummer. And I also love to water ski and spend time with my family. I think those are probably my three favorite hobbies right now. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you were an air traffic controller, so a lot of times I know you get asked, what would you be doing if you if you weren't making cigars? Well, I'd probably be retiring at my age right now as an air traffic controller, but I'd love to be in business. Uh, I'd probably have some type of small business. I love clothing and so on, but who knows? But I I probably would be retiring today at my age as an air traffic controller, which is a job I really love. They did it since I was 18 years old when I when I joined the Navy, and it was a fun job. I always said it was like playing a pinball game without having to put a quarter in it, so I really loved it. Yeah, now you talk about you like clothing. So I know one of the things, Nick loves attention to detail, and so a lot of times people say, and I know your friends will tell you, you know, Nick, why are you so... Uh, passionate about attention to detail? Well, attention to detail, Arthur, to me is so important. I think a lot of it had to do with my father and my mother who were very strict on me, and I'm thankful for it. Um, also, my military training was also very, very paramount for me in, in attention to detail. And look, you got to remember that all these special cigars have my last name on them. And I really do care very much about my consumers and my retailers, and people know about it. And I am so picky, and I believe our consumers deserve the very best. So they should be equally as picky also. Absolutely. And look, if I'm too focused to attention to detail, all that I can say is I'm proud of that. And I'm also proud of you and our whole team because I think we're all, we all pull the same way with our attention to detail because we love our consumers and we think it's, it's worthy of them. Well, that ties into the next question. You know, our factory, we have a lot of quality control steps, and and I've seen it again. Being with Nick for for 20 years, we've we've always worked on doing everything better and better. So talk a little bit about the quality control at the factory level. Well, we're well known for our quality, as you know, Arthur, and we actually hand check each and every Perdomo cigar 18 times, not including that every single one of them is draw tested and every single cigar is checked by a specialist and our proprietary 18-step control process. And I'm very proud of our quality control. I think it's paramount for our company. And I think one of the things we love is when we take people on our factory tours, they see at the very end, after the 17 quality control steps, the very last one, we take every cigar out of the box, right? It's already been banded and cellophane inspected, and our final inspectors do that 18th quality control step. Um, and I think that that's just the ultimate. So, and also over the years, talk a little bit about draw testing. Well, the draw testing to me is, is just so important because a cigar that doesn't draw shouldn't be put in a box. And if you're only gonna draw test a certain percentage of it, I think you're cheating the consumer and I think you're cheating the retailer. So when we designed that station several years ago, you're well known about, we can actually draw test up to 19 cigars per second. 
and we want to draw test every single cigar. And if a cigar doesn't draw, we bring the roller back and we tell them exactly what their mistake was, and we give them a second shot to remake that cigar, and we actually take that cigar, we pull it apart, and we actually redo that cigar. And then what that does, Arthur, it guarantees that every single cigar that we make at the Perdomo factory is going to guarantee that it draws. And I just, I'm just resolute about that. A cigar that doesn't draw shouldn't be put in a box. And even though it's a handmade product, it should be as perfect as possible. Our consumers deserve that. I agree. And people who go on a factory tour, they always fall in love with that room. Their, their, their minds, they're blown away, especially by draw testing every single cigar. And I'm very proud of that as well. Absolutely. Um, you always have a lot of sayings. I'm going to steal your first one. Okay. It's quality brings quantity. I mean, I've, that's been driven in me and, and our entire team uh, since the beginning, since day one. So talk a little bit about more of that, but also what are some of your other uh, favorite sayings? Well, I, I'm a big believer in quality brings quantity, and I started it. I mean, we started out of a garage, as you well know. And you've been with me a long time, and, you know, we grew this company, and we grew it always under the realm of quality and it sounds simple but it really isn't because you have to have so many moving parts working as one and being a completely vertically integrated facility it's important that every single step and every single dot is is is, is checked on everything that we do and you know one I, you know I always have these sayings I'm known for the Nick sayings at the factory but I believe that you do things right or you don't do them at all um, I believe that I always say we must produce the very best because we must honor our consumers and our retailers. We have that actually painted inside our factory in a mural. And one of my biggest beliefs, Arthur, is it takes 10 years to get a customer. It takes three seconds to lose one. And I'm never going to forget that. And that's why I'm so, and I think our whole team, we're just so enamored in trying to make the very best. And every single day we do that. And I'm very proud of our team that we we all pull in the same direction and you said it we all pull the same way every single day I agree so it makes a difference another question I know you get asked all the time is what is your favorite cigar Perdomo cigar and how many cigars do you smoke a day well as you well know that's a that's a very difficult question to answer you know I love all our blends I mean I blend them all so I gotta love them before I can release them right Absolutely. but I do go on kicks and I would say today, probably the 20th anniversary Sun Grown Epicure um, is one of my favorites. Of course, the new Perdomo Reserve 10th anniversary Maduro and what you're smoking there, the 10th anniversary Sun Grown. Absolutely. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I smoke between three to five cigars a day. If I'm down in Nicaragua, especially during the time that we're blending and we're coming up with new concepts, I'll probably smoke seven to nine cigars a day. You know, our day starts early. You know, we get in that factory at 6.30 in the morning, and we don't leave sometimes till 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So it gives me a lot of time to be able to smoke those cigars. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just a very difficult question to answer. But I would say my kick today is probably the two cigars we're smoking in the, in the 20th anniversary. But I'm really equally proud of all the cigars we manufacture. Another great question is, you know, you visit a lot of cigar stores. You do a lot of events. And so why is travel? I mean, you know, we both travel a lot, but definitely you travel uh, consistently. You're nonstop. You're a traveling machine. Why is that so important to you? Well, I think it's a blessing to be able to travel to see our consumers and, and our retailers. And these are the very people that put food on our table, Arthur. And to top it off, they're equally as happy to see me, and it, it's really a blessing. I absolutely love to go out and do events, visit our retailers, see our consumers. And I'll tell you the truth, I'm almost three decades in, in this industry. I love it today more than I loved it even when I first started. And I could never imagine me saying that, but I, I truly love it. And I want to thank all the consumers out there for that. I just came back from a trip, as you know, and you, you actually came back from a trip last week, and I feel the same way. You know, that's the energy. You know, we get as much of it out of it as you the consumer and, and also the retailer so we we love to to visit and answer questions what would you have done differently if you if looking back if you could change anything what would you have done differently I'll be honest with you I don't I don't think I'd change anything um, I think one of the things you got to do is learn from your mistakes and in reality it made me more focused and even stronger and we all know that everybody makes mistakes um, the important thing is learning from your mistakes. And again, 
I feel that our whole company is blessed because we do learn from that. So I don't think I'd change anything, Arthur, to be honest with you. Right. And so final question for this session, Nick, what would you tell people who wanted to start a business today, especially in today's environment? Well, I would say don't fight the risk because, of course, when you start in the industry or in any business, you're going to take a risk. You got to believe in yourself and you got to ride your passion and especially your vision. And you got to ride that to the fullest. But one of the things I think is very important, it's one of the reasons this guy to, the, to, to my right has been with me for 20 years and our company, a lot of our employees have been with us 15 plus years, is you got to treat your workers with the utmost of respect. Because in reality, they're truly going to be your greatest asset. And I also believe that because we have a strong faith in God, it's also very important. And I'll be quite honest with you, God has blessed us and blessed our company, as you well know, Arthur. Amen. So, you know, I hope everyone enjoyed this small interview. We're going to do more of these interviews and ask Nick questions. We hope to get more questions from you on this YouTube, uh, on our YouTube site. And uh, Nick, why don't you take us out? Well, first of all, I'd like, I'd, I'd like to thank all of you guys for listening to our new YouTube channel. And if you could, please like, subscribe, and share our channel because we want to give everybody the vision that we have and the love that we have on premium cigars. And please give us your input. It's very important to us. In the future, I'd like to be able to answer all your questions with your names on them. So thanks very much. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>